time for Builder Hall 5. All right, start with Baby Dragon right here. Boom, boom, boom. Bomber ability. Okay, can't cannon car right there onto the gold sword. Activate the mortar ability. Use the bomber ability as soon as you can. Use the battle machine ability when it charges up to two ticks. All right, use that. And then use the bomber ability as soon as you possibly can, like I already said. Hopefully we can get it off before the double cannon targets it. Perfect. Bomber abilities going off, getting extra damage for that baby dragon. Get ready to switch the cannon cart when it gets rid of the town. Okay, switch it. Switch it back. Use the bomber ability when you can, again. Same with the battle machine. Use the bomber ability. Perfect, got damage onto the cannon. Okay. Battle machine's taking down the double cannon, just getting some damage onto it. That's perfectly fine. And we couldn't get the ability off, which is also fine. That's okay because the mortar can finish it off. Let the mortar attack the clock tower regularly. As soon as it finishes the clock tower, put it into mortar mode. Use the bomber ability, sure, get some splash onto that. Perfect, took that down. Switch it to mortar mode. Let it take down the cannon, which has almost no health left. Perfect, okay. And this is going to be the three stars for Builder Hall 5. Time for Builder Hall 6. Okay, start with the Battle Machine, Boxer Giant, Boxer Giant, Witch, Witch. Activate the Witch by the single Boxer Giant. One, then go Archer, 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 Archer. Make sure they're targeting the Tesla. Okay. Battle Machine ability once he charges up to two because he's tanking a lot of hits. Okay, it's okay if the vul invulnerabilities for the Boxer Giants go off right now. That's completely fine. The Battle Machine is going to push in to the middle anyway. Okay, targeting that cannon. That's what we need. Perfect. All right. Battle Machine ability. It's okay if the Giants don't stay up. That's okay. All right. And then now, do not use any more abilities unless you have to. Because the um, box, not the boxer giant, the battle machine is taking hits for the mortar. Okay, and then the second stage of Builder Hall 6 is very, very, very easy. So just keep all these troops. Alright. In reality, you really only need to keep one witch. Okay, now time for the second stage, which is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly easy. Watch. You go one, two. You go one, two. You go one, two. All right. Use abilities whenever you see fit because this is crust. There's nothing for the space, really. There's really nothing on the space. Use the invulnerability for the giant when the town hall goes down because some of the zappies will target it right there. All right. And then archers are just picking off the archer tower. Archer versus archer tower. In this case, it's archers. All right. Ability, whatever. Ability. Okay, and that is the six star. Perfecto. Time for Builder Hall 7. Okay, start with one minion, one minion, one minion, one minion. You didn't need the extra minion to the barracks, but it's okay they put it there. Alright, then place the battle machine right there. Okay, slammer, slammer, all of the minions in behind. Battle machine ability because it's targeting the wall. And then don't use any of the slammer's abilities unless you have to. Okay, the air bombs is down. Now it's a breeze. Just try and keep the battle machine's health up. And it's going to keep its own health up because what is really left? Alright, and that was a very easy 3 star for the first half of Builder Hall 7. Now on to the second half of still Builder Hall 7. Okay, start with Slammer, Battle Machine. Okay, now go Slammer, Slammer, all the rest of your minions. Alright, use the Slammer for 7 or 1, or let them auto go off when they need to. Okay, Battle Machine ability because it's on 2. Bomb ability for this one. Perfect. Okay, those Tesla are going down, and the battle machine's on the town hall. 
This is a three star. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. All right, battle machine ability on those zappies because why not? What are they gonna do? Okay, and this is going to be the six star. Perfect. Time for Builder Hall 8. Start with two Super Pekkas, Boxer Giant, Battle Machine. Okay, then do one Rage Barbarian back here, and then one onto the Town Hall. Let those pick off. Use the Battle Machine ability before it gets to two. Before it gets to two. Drop one, two in. And one of the P.E.K.K.A.s will go down soon and get the Firecrackers. That's perfect. The P.E.K.K.A.s are tanking while the Super Barb is, yeah, picking off the Mega Tesla. Oop, not today. Okay, that P.E.K.K.A. stays up. That is perfect. The ability is not used. And then once that um, Tesla is tanked, I will use the extra Super P.E.K.K.A. I may use it now to save the other Super P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, alright, use that Super P.E.K.K.A. right there, because it's not going to take any damage, okay? Activate the ability, because why not? And that is a 3-star. Now, on to the second stage. Okay, start with Boxer Giant, Battlecopter, Minion, 1, Minion, 1. These will have an easier time together. Perfect. Minion. Minion. Okay, now let this play out. Use the Battlecopter ability when it targets the Archer Tower. Only when it targets the Archer Tower. Super P.E.K.K.A. Got the Firecrackers down. Remember, when it targets the Archer Tower is when you want to use the ability. Perfect, right now. So you can rush up, get a lot of damage everywhere. Because the range is actually bigger when you use the full charge ability. Which is why you want to use the full charge ability on all of the heroes if you can. If you can save it for the full charge and if it's viable, use the full charge ability. Wow, it was only one tap away from the smaller ability. See, you got to use that full charge ability. Then one thing for Supercell, just make the heroes do a little more damage. It would make it go a little faster. I love Builder Base 2.0. Just make them do a little more damage. And that is the six star. Perfect. Time for Builder Hall 9. Start with the Battle Machine, P.E.K.K.A. Then go one, one, one again. Then when this other double cannon locks on, one, two, one. Okay, use the Battle Machine ability when it locks on the Crusher and it's at two. Alright, it's going to take that down. It's okay if the battle machine goes down. We want it to stay up, though. We always want it to stay up. Okay, it is going to stay up. And then save on to the rest of these troops, and do not use the Super P.E.K.K.A.'s ability. Oh, come on, Internet. Come back. The first part is not that hard. The second part could be easier, but I have finally found a way to do it. Okay, they're all attacking the town hall now, and hopefully they split. Uh, they split like they usually do. The high damage troops follow each other, and then the hogs split evenly. And wow, the battle machine's doing its own thing again. Well, anyway. So this could, could we do two buildings at the same time for this one? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> On to the second stage. Now we have the battle copter to use. We are going to start with the battle copter right here. We'll let it pick off that double cannon and then the army camps. And once it gets to the crusher, we will deploy the giant and the P.E.K.K.A. But wait for that. Okay, it's about to go down. Super P.E.K.K.A. One, two. Boxer giant. And one, two. All right, save on to the rest of these troops. The air defense is about to go down. Let's use that bombing effect. Get a lot of damage everywhere. We can let the giant's invulnerability go off. One, two hog gliders to that Tesla. Two hog riders to this Tesla. Another hog glider to that Archer Tower. 
and then this is pretty much crushed because there's no other air targeting troops and then you can just deploy the hog riders wherever and then after this it is going to be the infamous builder hall 10 finally attacking the zappies wow the zappies only got one hog rider down that's that's ironic Okay, it seems like in the Bowler Base, stuff does not do a lot of damage. Okay. And that is the 6 star. That's perfect. Time for Bowler Hall 10. Start with Electro Fire Wizard right here on Electric Mode, then one right here on Electric Mode. Get ready to set up tanks for these troops. Depends on which way they go. Boom. Boom. Battle machine. Giant. Okay, and then you will want to save onto the baby dragon. Switch forward to fire mode just to get it out of there quicker. So less of those hit. Okay, those giants should go out in front. That's completely fine. Switch forward to electric. Battle machine ability, let everything push through. Baby dragon right here. Okay, and then you will want to save onto the baby dragon. Just some extra tankage. Okay, and the only abilities that should go off are the giant abilities. Okay, and that is the first three star. Perfect. All of the troops stayed up. That's exactly what we need. Okay. Start with one, one. Let those pick off some buildings. One more right there. One more right there. Okay. Now go. Giant, giant, battle machine, super P.E.K.K.A., wizard, Put it on electric mode. Okay, switch it back back to fire. Baby dragon. Second baby dragon. And then sneeze for baby dragon number eight. It's number eight for me, but use the sneeze ability right there. Okay. Number three, put it in, in the back right here on electric mode. Okay, this is going good. Use number six's sneeze ability when the town hall goes down. And then now we have more than enough troops left to finish for Builder Hall 10. Sneeze ability takes everything out. That's perfect. Okay, and this is going to be the three star. Perfect. That's perfect. Builder Hall 10 is a bit hard, but we did it, didn't we? Subscribe.